Hey guys, it's Miko. Um, I wanted to show you guys something cool. Um, I think many of us have been kind of struggling with the master volume setting and where to set it, uh, since it's really hard to hear what it's doing when it's changing the volume so much. So, what I came up with was that I could use the scene controller and um, I can use it to control both the master volume and the level control simultaneously so that the volume kind of compensates for the master volume difference. Um, obviously this will not work in a similar way for every amp or even every amp setting but you can get in the ballpark for sure. Um, these are the settings that I have here right now so all these start mid and end uh, percentages have been fine-tuned and this offset just makes it a little bit louder um, so let me show you what it actually does so I'm not gonna turn the master volume or level from here I'm gonna go to the controllers and scene and use just this control and obviously when you go super low you just lose volume overall but other than that it should be pretty much the same volume but the master level is changing and therefore you hear where you should set the master level so let's hear it out <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna explode right now. But at least you can now hear what it's actually doing and you don't get that volume difference and therefore you can't really tell what's happening. So um, obviously if you go to zero then you hear nothing. Because, um, you know, uh, if the master volume is on zero then there's no sound going through. Uh, but when you start raising this up somewhere around 15 percent you start to get to that volume where it stays pretty stable right after that um i'll actually loop something so you can just concentrate on how it sounds Okay, so um, now I'm going to start tweaking the scene controller and you can hear uh, what it's actually doing master volume wise. <laughs> So, um, I think for this particular amp, um, uh, the sweet spot is around 40, and I usually leave the master on 40 anyways, but um, between 30 and 60 was where it kind of sounded, uh, well, like it's not exploding or not turned up enough, so that was kind of the sweet spot for me at least, and this is something that I couldn't really do before. So I hope that you guys can maybe use this if if you need it. Um, remember that you kind of have to tweak it differently 
if you change the amp I'll just demonstrate it for you guys so if I take something like JZM well I have the loop here already so I'm just gonna play it So as you see, it's not working for this amp. So what I would do, have to do with this is uh, fine tune it again. I'll show you how to do it. So Okay, so it takes a lot of time to get it right, but I think I'm pretty close right now. Uh, obviously, before I did DB testing, so I played it back in my DAW and then just measured all the uh, different decibels so that it was even uh, or approximately even throughout the whole whole spectrum there. So um, right now, this JCM800 is kind of balanced. It's still kind of a quick one but uh, let's try it out Okay, sorry for that. So, um, that kind of, for me at least, the JCM felt like 65% uh, is where the master volume is kind of in its sweet spot, uh, which means 6.5. Uh, so, I think this is a cool technique for you to try out and kind of find the master settings that you really like. Um, thanks, guys, and I hope this is helpful. See you later. Oh